guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a book tag, and it is the Romance Reading Book Tag, I believe. Under the covers did this. I will link their channel down below, and I thought this was perfect for me. I don't really do a lot of book tags anymore, but this is just talking about questions about romance, so, and like how I got into romance, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to these questions. Number one is what age did you start reading romance? And for me, I have always loved the romance plot line even when I was like in middle school elementary school I would read those like really tiny books and I would be obsessed with the crushes they had and I was like always rooting for that couple to end up together it was just like loving the whole happily lover after storyline as I got into high school I started reading a ton of YA romances like that's all I read the Simon Pauls romantic comedies I checked every single one out from the library I would go to the library every week with my mom get a stack of books bring it home and I love them Simone Elkeles her perfect chemistry series Rachel Hawthorne was this really good werewolf romance I think it was Rachel Hawthorne and I love those books and so I was really into romance during high school and only started reading adult romance when I was in high school too so I've always been a romance reader. So the second question is if you could pick one hero to meet from your favorite romance novels who would it be and why? For me, I, you guys like all know what I'm gonna say, Jamie Fraser from Outlander. I would want to meet him meaning I could go back in time, live in Scotland, and have Jamie just love me. He is the sweetest ever and I just like swoon hardcore whenever I read an Outlander book over how freaking adorable Jamie is and I, Sam Hewen, I stalk his Instagram. He is a beautiful person and I just want to see Jamie in his like kilt in person and love him. So I, I want to meet my James Fraser. Okay, so number three is who are your favorite romance authors and why? I've not prepared anything for this video, so I'm going on the fly. First of all is Elle Kennedy. She can write any genre and like kill the romance. She writes um, romantic suspense. She writes new adult hockey romance. She writes MM hockey romance with Serena Bowen, and that is amazing. She also writes post-apocalyptic books. I was dystopian kind of, but they're more post-apocalyptic, which are amazing. She writes like freaking amazing anything she ever writes. Next is Penelope Douglas because she writes angst like amazingly, amazingly well. I am obsessed with every book she writes. She just came out with Birthday Girl, which is angsty and age romance. So Penelope Douglas, definitely another favorite. Also, I have been re-listening to on audiobook Cora Carmax romances. I just finished Losing It, which is a professor-student romance, and the professor is British. And I am on book two of the Rusk University series, which is a football new adult romance, which is amazing as well. And then, obviously, Samantha Young writes the best best romances ever. I just finished listening to three of the first books in her On Dublin Street series and they are just so amazing and they're in Scotland so if you like more adventurous books where you're not just stuck in the US and you have amazing Scottish accents in the audiobook, listen to Samantha Young's audiobooks because they are amazing. And I could go on all day so I'm just gonna stop with those. Number four is what is your favorite novel to reread? Um, I don't reread books. I do re-listen to audiobooks now, but I don't think I could just like sit and reread a book over and over again. I will say when I was in high school, Two Way Street by Lauren Barnholt, I think is what it was called. I read that book like four times in a row. And The Boyfriend League by Rachel Hawthorne, which is a young adult baseball romance and it's one of those mass markets. I reread that like five times when I was in high school. I was obsessed. So I don't really reread a lot of books now but those are my OG favorites that I could read over and over and over again. Okay, so the next question is what book would you recommend to a non-romance reader? And for me, I think if you really love historical, definitely check out Outlander. There's a lot of political discussion in that, so it's not solely based on the romance. I mean, like, a big part of it is the romance, but it's a really great historical book as well that has a lot of history in it. Now, I don't know how accurate that history is, but a lot of it revolves around the big Battle of Culloden, which they reached in book 
2 slash 3 and there's a lot of political talk with the French. They go to France in the second book, so if you like historical, go with Outlander. If you're more of a suspense reader, I love Elle Kennedy's Killer Instinct series. It is very romance heavy, but all of them do intertwine together leading up to the culminating final book. So if you like more action-packed books, definitely recommend the Killer Instinct series by Al Kennedy. Alright, and so the last question is, which is your favorite contemporary suspense historical and why? For me, I would have to say I love reading contemporary romances because the genre is so big. Like, motorcycle romances go in that category, sports romance goes in that category, so I will say sports romance are probably my favorite because I love athletes so much and I love sports. I love watching football, I love watching baseball, soccer's on right now and I'm obsessed with the World Cup so like I'm a huge sports fanatic anyways so the fact that I can watch someone fall in love with an athlete is amazing and so sports romance are probably my number one but I do love contemporary and just watching people fall in love in the everyday world and I do love historical romances but I don't read that enough. Paranormal I definitely need to read more of but contemporary is my favorite. And that is the romance reading book tag. Let me know down below how you got into romance. I would love to hear. I am just weird and like have literally always loved romance. And what can I say? That's just me. I love the romance in movies and I love the romance in books and it's just... I love romance. I don't know why. I don't know how more people don't love romance and how they are so mean to people who love romance. Like romance is a real genre and they, it's real books. So yeah. That's all I have for you. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.